Hello everybody, welcome back uh, to another 1541 uh, repair from uh, IZ8 DWF and it seems every 1541 broken in the world is reaching me uh, anyway this one is um, quite in a sorry state there were no screws on the, on the case and the case itself as you can see is missing uh, quite a bit of the rear part well almost all the rear part Anyway, let's see what it does. We power it on. Okay, motor runs forever. And the red LED is always lit. So, this means the CPU. The 6502 is not uh, executing or not running at all, so we have to troubleshoot the 6502 signals first of all. First of all, uh, this is the reset signals, it goes high as it should. Is the clock, and I've not found any stuck signal so far. So, since the ROMs are socketed. Uh, my next attempt uh, would be um, extracting the, the two ROMs and testing them uh, on a separate programmer to see if they read correctly. Okay, so the two ROMs were good, testing uh, with a Nick ROM programmer. And they did the sockets in, the, in this uh, motherboard, this here of 1541, are really terrible. So after I extracted the ROMs, cleaned a bit the pins and reinserted them, we have the normal reset. So on these vintage boards, uh, always uh, clean the socketed chips because more more likely the the terrible uh, socket quality of this. Uh, boards make, uh, makes the, the problem. Now it's time to have a good cleaning on the mechanics and try if this drive uh, works or has other issues. So tests are going good so far. Try to save and load on a really formatted disk then I will try to format the disk. But I'm going to change the socket under this ROM because sometimes the the drive refuses to start so I have to move slightly this ROM so the socket is really gone I will uh, replace this socket um, to make this drive last uh, more <laughs> uh, tens of years uh, uh, after this so the socket are really terrible on uh, some Commodore products and um, I will I have replaced the, some uh, screws that were missing and I will replace also the case screws that are missing too but so far so good I guess we'll go straight on another drive because this one has uh, no major issues uh, other than the socket here so stay tuned Okay, so this uh, was fixed just uh, uh, by changing the, the socket on this uh, ROM. The other sockets are also bad quality, but they are making good contact. There is no problem with it. I just tested this drive uh, quite uh, uh, for, for some time as, and it's working very very well it has a good mechanic uh, smooth operation no problems at all with even with all discs so we'll see on the next one what happens okay this is the next one on the bench and this has a strange uh, behavior we try to load the directory motor starts red light 
the LED doesn't light, the motor runs forever. C64 stop responding unless I oh wait, even run stop. Doesn't really work. Okay, time to open it. Okay, this board uh, must be uh, an early board or something because it has quite a lot of modifications here is another resistor that goes in just on a pin of this chip another one uh, they look like uh, factory made uh, uh, changes here is a cut track here we have a couple of uh, cut tracks again and if you mm, flipping the board I've found some wires going around here is a capacitor mounted uh, on two pins of this chip but it seems uh, quite a modified uh, board maybe a yearly one with uh, some fixes and it doesn't really follow exactly the schematic uh, I'm usually following with this uh, 1541 revision but I found that uh, there's no clock uh, also the, the behavior changed it doesn't uh, reset correctly now and what I found is on pin 25 of the of the 6522s this should be according to my schematic uh, there should be a clock a fee phase 2 clock on pin 25 and uh, if I check on the real um, cheap 25 there is no signal and according to the schematic it should come from uh, this inverter on pin 12 and of course there is no signal else but on the input of the inverter which is on pin 13 there is the phase 2 clock so this is a MOS technology 7713 which I don't remember what is it but according to the schematic this should be uh, LS04 inverter so probably I will change this one as a first try okay so indeed the 7713 from most technology uh, is an equivalent of uh, 74 less 04 that I put in place of uh, that nasty little chip nasty because it was uh, need broken now if we probe this is the input and it's good and the output now is okay so we the, I wanted to explain why um, reach at this point uh, because the first uh, try I made with this floppy it would have fine uh, um, started to the motor when I asked for a uh, directory and then uh, it got lost so I didn't pay much attention on the bus of the 6502 because it, it was able to start properly and I checked the uh, various signals on the 6522 and I, I found that the phase 2 clock input on these chips were way too low and disappearing uh, when the unit got enough warm so according to the schematic the phase 2 clock comes from this pin and there was nothing with the original uh, uh, 7713 MOS technology chip so now it's okay. Now it's time to test the, the drive and see what happens. Okay, looks like there are some other issues. Also, the head didn't uh, quite uh, move 
um, seeking back on track one. Mm, so I don't know. I have to understand first of all what's the error. But one try that I will uh, do is to swap probably the two sixty five twenty twos. Well, just because this one is much uh, warmer, it's hotter actually than this one. So yeah, maybe it's worth trying swapping them. And also there are some other most technology logics that could be bad. So more to follow. Okay, swapping the two 6522s gave this so we are able to read the directory now. There is a reason for this. Um, I'll try to explain, look at the schematic. Okay. As you can see, one of the 6522, um, which is this one, UC2, uses both uh, port B signals, input outputs, and port A input outputs. So this one must be really in perfect shape, I, I, can, I can say. This one, the UC36422 only uh, uses uh, signals from port B. So its port A can be uh, not working correctly, but this one will be uh, making a good job inside the uh, 1541 anyway. It needs only the port B working. So probably the 65 in UC3 has uh, some issues on uh, port A pins or in internals and uh, didn't work in this position, but it's able to work uh, enough in this other position. So I'm going to try uh, writing, uh, loading other programs and see how this drive is uh, reacting by now. Okay, I've run some tests and uh, this drive seems good enough. So I will leave it alone. And by the way, I'm experimenting with uh, capturing the output of uh, Commodore 64 directly on my Linux laptop with this old analog uh, TV USB USB receiver it's a lot more work than uh, um, connecting a uh, standard uh, CRT monitor but what well, it may uh, be useful to uh, easily record the uh, video output from uh, Commodore 64 and uh, similar old uh, computers. Anyway, it will be probably the next video. Thank you for watching.